Hey everyone, today we're going to be checking out the AeroPie Tesla Gemini wheel covers. These are the most unique looking covers I've seen and they also look pretty good in my opinion. The website also claims that despite its unique shape, there's no impact on range or efficiency compared to the Tesla Gemini wheel covers. But of course we're going to have to test that theory out and do some of our own range testing. One thing of note is that when you open these up, you get this pack of adhesive foam covers. So you're meant to go and line the inside of the rim covers on the AeroPie wheel caps so you don't scratch the wheel of your Tesla. Some other wheel cap manufacturers that I've tested have actually included this already and it's done by the factory so I didn't have to do it myself. In this case, you have to do it yourself. One other unique thing about these is the center cap. They're actually a separate part compared to the rest of the cover and you pop them in after you have already installed them on the wheel. As with all of these wheel caps, you uninstall by pulling them out, and sometimes it requires some extra force or pinching on the underside, but they all kind of just work the same. The holding mechanism for these AeroPie wheel caps is actually the most like the Tesla OEM included Gemini wheel caps that I've seen, so they actually fit pretty nicely and feel a lot less flimsy and breakable than other wheel caps that I've tried. So I'm heading out right now, same deal as last time, I think by this time you should know the drill but I will be driving at 72 miles per hour on the highway in chill mode. And actually this time I'll be able to have the air conditioning or the climate control set to off because it is 68 degrees outside, unlike the last time I tested where it was 108 degrees outside. I'm also driving once again at like 2.30 PM, so it shouldn't be too much traffic and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna be testing these wheel covers as a relative efficiency metric compared to the default Gemini wheel caps. The Gemini wheel caps themselves are quite efficient and so anything that is more efficient or the same efficient that looks better, I think is a win. And if it's less efficient, that's just something that we should know about. I'm gonna be getting onto the highway and right when I hit like 72 miles per hour, I'm gonna reset the aero test wheel cap trip and then I will just drive in my loop. And as a side note, I pretty much always expect that no matter what, like you to hit the rated energy consumption on normal day-to-day -day driving, especially on highway driving like I'm doing right now, it, you have to have extremely perfect conditions because otherwise you're really not hitting that estimated 330 miles of range or so. This part of the drive is uphill and I've gone for about five miles or so. And right now it's saying that we've used 3.4% of the vehicle's consumption which is 0.8 more percent than the estimated consumption. And of course that's expected, one, just because of that general inefficiencies of not driving under perfect conditions, as well as two, going uphill. We're gonna be using more than the vehicle rates. But as far as the trip goes, we're only using 0.3 more than the projection. So when the vehicle takes into account that, hey, we are going uphill, we're only in excess of 0.3 compared to that projection. As I'm waiting to turn around, we've hit 10 miles, which is halfway of our 20 mile loop. I've used approximately three kilowatt hours of energy at an average energy usage going uphill of 262 watt hours per mile. So this is lower than previous testing, but a huge part of that has to be because we're using zero climate control right now. It's just completely off. At the end of that 21 miles, the AeroPie test wheels were an average energy of 253 watt hours per mile. Next is to swap out and use the default wheel caps to see how they compare. So now I just swapped back to the original Gemini Aero wheel caps that Tesla makes and it's time for round two. And at the end of that 21 mile loop, the original Tesla wheel caps used an average of 242 watt hours per mile, so significantly less than the AeroPie wheel covers. I put the two different trips on the same screen right here so it's easier to compare the two, but overall the AeroPie wheel covers did use around 5% more energy than the original Tesla wheel caps. While I think the AeroPie wheel covers look really good, and I like that they're not just some, you know, uber turbine design ripoff, they're their own thing and they look good, they do impact efficiency at up to 5%. I've been driving with them around for a bit, but if I do go on a longer road trip, I will switch back to the most efficient wheel caps that I tested, and you can check them out in the description down below or my other video covering these guys. Overall, I really like the build and how these AeroPie wheel cover caps look and feel, but I just wish I got the same efficiency that they listed on their website. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you again real soon.